Hello and welcome to the FinCast tutorial video on video switching. Okay, video switching in FinCast. I'll start by talking about the preview and the program screens. So up here we've got a preview and down here we've got a program. So how switching works is pretty much like in any video switcher in a TV station or similar. What we have in the preview allowing us to see what we're going to switch will be switched from the preview to the program. The program is our final footage and the footage that the end user will see. The uh, switcher is made up uh, consisting on the top row here of our preview buttons and underneath we have our program buttons. Preview means what goes here in the preview and program means what goes here in the program. Over on the left hand side we have the T bar or transition bar which allows us to switch using a manual transition and we've got 34 of them here to choose from or maybe it's 32. Uh, we've got a take button, we've got an auto button and we've got a timer button which is how long the take or how long sorry the auto transition uh, will take to complete. Okay, so I'll start with the preview button. Again, we've got uh, keyboard commands for this, so we can look up uh, to we familiarize ourselves with them, uh, whatever we want to switch. So for example, if we wanted to switch set one in the preview, we would just simply press the G key. And if we wanted to press uh, set two, we would press the H key. And I believe it would be J for the uh, set three as an example. Okay. So the idea of the preview for people who are coming new into the industry is pretty much the way it will work is you're a technical director and switcher or you're a technical director giving instructions to a switcher, meaning somebody who will carry out the switching. For example, switch camera two, switch video footage three or whatever the case may be. When we say that we usually line up and get footage ready to be switched. So a command may be something like set one preview and you would simply click set one in the preview and that means this is what we're going to switch next. Everything you see here in the preview is switchable in the switcher. So that's video input one to four, or cameras one to four if you prefer, virtual sets one and three, a box, which is side by side footage, player one and player two. Then we've got image one and image two and just a back color, and then multi cameras, which links up with the multi camera, which is basically this guy down here where we can see cameras one, two, three, and four as one image or we can see cameras one, two, and three together, or cameras one, two together. When we switch video players, and we have this button checked here, for example, if we were to switch uh, video player one, and this while this is checked, it will automatically start to play. So you don't have to press play. So basically it's, it's lined up in, uh, first thing I wanna do, I just wanna put the volume switches down for player one and player two, so they don't come all over me. So we're just going to have a visual on switching in this tutorial video because the uh, music and sound from each video is just going to drown me out um, and be slightly distracting. So I want to line up uh, video player one here and we can see uh, up here this one is for one minute and 20 uh, seconds and it should be sufficient for I can set it back if I need to. So I have a couple of options here. So the first one I'm going to do is I'm just going to take it. And what take means in the switcher, it means it's like cut or take. So take player one, it's instantaneous. There's no delay and it's pretty much complete. And again, that comes into our commands. I think it's command seven on the keyboard. You can press the physical keys or you can use command keys, which is obviously much easier and quieter and faster. Um, 
and here are transitions that we can choose from and the various ones like banded swirl we've got blinds horizontal blinds vertical blood circle blur circle reveal stretch cloud crumble dissolve drop fade fade itself which is probably one of the most popular uh, fly which is really fast and it's like a fly in fly out so I'll leave it on uh, fade for now and I'm, I'm going to press uh, key number seven so straight away that that's take and it, it, it takes the footage from the preview without any delay so then we can line up our next footage which will be player two in this specific case we're going to fade in on three seconds which is default and again I can press this physical button for also or I can press ace on the keyboard and we can see fade <coughs> coming in there of the other footage okay excuse me there now uh, go back to player one and I'll tell my trains the transition and I will do a fly so this and you can see there we made a very quick transition on the fly. I'll do it on again because it's so fast it's kind of confusing and can be hard to miss. And there you go. What's in the preview comes into the program. Okay, so just let me uh, pause each of these uh, video players for now. Um, I'll just set them back so we can get a bit more time on them. I want to uh, in this case, uh, I want to do a bit of manual. Actually, I'll roll them again now. I want to use the manual transition bar, sometimes known as the T bar. So again, we, we put up here our um, player one and we have our player two. This would be better on a fade because we're going to use a manual transition on it. So you can see as I start to move up the transition bar, we can see they're kind of mixing the two video footages there together. Sorry, I went up there too quickly. I'll go back to this one and I'll come down. Incidentally, it doesn't matter whether the, whether the transition bar is at the top or at the bottom. It, it, it knows what to do. It, it's a start each time. And I'm going to start moving down now because it's at the top. In other words, I don't need to move it back down. And you can see I'm just going to let go in the center. And we've kind of got a crossfade or a ghost effect of each of the videos. And as I start moving down... Or I can start moving back up and go to the previous view or I can continue to move down and down till we make a complete transition and fade in what's in the preview into the program out. Okay, so I put up set one into the preview. Uh, this one is ending here. Just bring it back a bit and roll it again. Um, so we've got set one here and we can easily fade this in using the manual transition bar yeah it doesn't have to be fade you can use fly is probably dramatic actually maybe be very interesting to try to fly on a uh, manual transition let's put some footage up here let's put uh, footage one and we'll slowly move in with it whoops that was so fast okay we can see it there what's really going on and I move it through on the transition bar. This time I'll do it a little faster. Okay, what else have we got here? Um, we kind of pivot and I'll use the auto transition for this and I'll click the physical button this time. So we're taking what's from the preview into the program. There you go. So the switcher, as you can see, is incredibly simple and it, it's got three sections to it really, no matter how you look at it. It's got the transition bar from manual transition. It's got the take, which is instantaneous, no delay, and you've got the auto. And it's got a predefined time, so you can really drag it out and make it incredibly long if you choose to. And I'll, I'll bring this one back. So again, we pull up player two. And we make this really long, like seven seconds. And we'll go back to fade because we do like a really long fade on this and I'll click also. 
and you can see it coming in really slowly there and you can see the lights blinking and up here as well where it's making the switch okay and I also want to um, again just highlight the fact that on the roll buttons if they're auto checked it means you don't have to worry about your footage it will automatically start to play uh, without any delay on it whatsoever so that pretty much covers the uh, video switching it's incredibly straightforward everything you see in the preview because we do get a lot of questions what can I actually switch whatever's in the preview can be switched it's that simple and you can override from the program incidentally if need to be so if you realize that you've got the incorrect footage lined up to be switched which can happen from time to time uh, the wrong command someone may ask to switch the wrong uh, footage uh, it can be overridden very quickly uh, with either keyboard command or physically pressing the button so if we want to switch player one actually I'm oh, sorry I'll, I'll use uh, set one so player one is in the preview set one is just lying there doing nothing but set one is what I wanted to switch and when I look up the preview I see oh that's not set one that's player one well I can simply just click set one and it will override it straight away and it allows you to correct the problem so if you like the program buttons themselves are a physical override from the preview to make your switch and again that's like it's, it's equivalent to the take button it's instantaneous with absolutely no delay on it okay so that pretty much covers all we need to talk about on the on the video switcher it's very simplistic to use and very powerful for what it does and you can switch and preview bef to see what you're going to switch so there's no error in your switching and you're quite happy what you're going to switch from up above okay so again thank you for watching uh, our video on fincast.com is our website uh, should you need to get any more information and we have tutorial videos on more sections of using fincast thank you for watching bye now